New product introduction. This I week it's Stuart. That's right. Brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. It's Stuart been a Connector. Very long day. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, but it's technically it is it is it is new because it's NPI. It is new. Yeah. But I was, I'm yeah. We're I'm gonna do new products. Scatter today. day. Okay, so uh, new you product got? today is uh, from Stuart Connector, which is like a subset of Bell, and it's simple but effective. Um, we've got some IP67 USB cable adapters uh, from Stuart. Um, so these are the type A cable assemblies. I'm assuming they'll have the type B and type C coming out shortly. Uh, they've got them in um, a bunch of different configurations. And what I like about this is, you know, a lot of times when you're making a product or a design, eventually you have to ruggedize it or like weatherproof it. But it's really hard to get like individual components that are weatherproof or ruggedized. Like for example, if you want to include uh, your Raspberry Pi computer into a product and you want to have it be outdoors or like a part of signage, um, you know, you've got these USB ports, but these USB ports are not rated for like anything. They're incredibly delicate. They're, it's a totally exposed computer. And that's what makes it really inexpensive, right? I mean, you can get recognized computers, but they're going to be a lot more pricey because they have all the enclosure stuff built in. But if you want to use common off the shelf hardware like Raspberry Pi or Arduino or BeagleBone, um, you can grab that and you'll see and everything's exposed. It's not weatherproof. And then um, you can get parts that are rated for weatherproofness and ruggedness. And to do that, you check out the IP rating, the ingress protection ratings, not related to TCP IP, totally different. And um, by looking at the dust and water ingress, and you can see on the left and the right here, the left is the dust rating, and it goes from zero, no dust protection, all the way up to six, which is dust tight. And then on the right, it goes from no water protection at all to like, jets of water and like dunking in water and long-term immersion water and then finally like high temperature water like it's it's more detailed and uh, uh, for these cables they are IP67 um, so that means that they are dust proof and um, you can dunk them in water but you know you don't want to have them in water for a very long time like they're not meant for pools or aquariums where it's like long-term uh, you know, water dunking, but you can, you know, if they get wet and they, you know, go into a puddle or something or, or somebody accidentally spills water on them, they're okay. And that's important because if it doesn't have an IP rating, you can't guarantee, it's, it, there's no testing, there's no guarantee, you don't know if it, you know, it looks like it's going to survive outdoors, doesn't mean anything. You need to have it be rated. Um, so you have these come in a couple different configurations. This is like the panel mount socket, and this is, you can see there's the blue inside, that means it's USB 3.0. And then um, there's this, which is USB 2, that's like the white plastic on the inside. Uh, and this is the part that plugs into that socket. And then, you know, they have like this, which is, you know, an extension cable style. And you can see it has a nice cover as well. So um, they have like six or seven different cable configurations. Pick the one that, you know, you need for your project. Uh, you'll panel mount it. The panel mounting goes into an enclosure that is weatherproof. And then once the two cables are plugged together and assembled, it's IP67. Um, so there's all these different parts, check them out. Like I said, there's 2.0, 3.0. Uh, there is uh, the socket and plug type, and there's three foot and six foot alternatives. Each one comes with very nice detailed specification sheets with all the cutouts and shapes and lengths and pinouts and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, this is another one, another cable example. Available on DigiKey. Yes, and I'll show it over on the overhead as well. Again, there's a couple different versions. I just picked one to show off here. Uh, so let's go to the overhead, and I'll show you. So this is uh, a combo. Here, I'll show you this one second. So when you unscrew this part, this plugs into here. So this would be what you connect on the other side of your single board computer, like your Raspberry Pi, and this could be, you know, you know, data or power or whatever, uh, you plug it in and then there's, you know, like there's an O-ring here and then you just have to screw this in and it gives you uh, not only, again, that water and dust protection, but it's of course also strain relieved because it's like so strong and uh, ruggedized. And then I like that little details, like they have it say USB here, so you know what it is because it, once it's in this, of course, you can't tell. And there's like epoxy on the back and uh, 
altogether like a very nice cable kit. Just makes it really easy. You want to make your project ruggedized. You don't have to, you can use off the shelf components and then toss these, comp these cables in and you're good to go. All right, you can check out the short URL here. It's also in the chat and uh, you'll have a recap of this on our blog with all the information and more in the next day or so. And that is this week's Ion MPI. Hi, on MPI.